G'day folks, Rod Moore from Moore Art School and welcome to this video in our series on how to start teaching art and start your own art school. Now one of the questions I get asked all the time is, do I need to get a certification in order to become an art teacher? It's a very interesting question. Um, so that was a question I had when I started out painting and I, and I realized, hey, I have a real passion for this and I want to share that passion with other people, right? Um, so I contacted a guy who ran a little art school in Australia, um, in New South Wales, and I you know, asked him a few questions via email and he was very gracious to uh, take the time to respond and I, and I thank him to this day. And one of the questions I asked him was, do I need to be certified you know, in order to become an art teacher? And he wrote back and said, no, you don't need to be. Um, but it's worth looking into if you haven't had any experience, right? So he, his basic advice was, no, you could start an art school and start teaching art today without any certification, which I found out to be absolutely true. So I, I took his advice on board, but I also went and actually decided myself to become a certified teacher. And at the time, I joined with Bill Alexander's um, certification program, which was fantastic. Um, but what happened was, as I started to teach classes, I evolved my own methodology, um, a methodology which I found to be easy to teach to students, and it helps students to actually get better results. Um, so, getting back to the question at hand, you know, do you need to become certified to start teaching art and to start your own art school? The answer is absolutely no. However, I highly recommend it, right? Um, the reason why I recommend it is because it gives you a framework and a structure and a process on how to actually teach your students. Because the thing I found in running a little art school and teaching classes, the number one most important thing, if, especially if you're aiming at the beginner market, which I assume that's where you want to aim your efforts, but the number one most important thing is when somebody comes along to an art class for their first lesson or they're just brand new, everything's new and it's all overwhelming. And to encourage them to keep coming back and to become repeat students, you want to make sure that they walk out of that class with a finished painting and a smile on their face, right? Make them feel great about it and make them realize, hey, if you follow my methodology, then you can absolutely you know, do your first painting by coming to one of our classes. So doing a certification course helped me to see that there was a structure and process. Now, what I found lacking in all of the certification programs out there um, whether it's Bob Ross or Bill Alexander or any of them. And there's, look, there's quite a few out there. You, there's many to choose from. But what I found lacking in all of them is none of them taught me how to actually start an art school, the business side of it, the marketing side of it. How do I get people into the classroom? <laughs> um, that's a big thing if you're going to start teaching art classes. You need to know that there's a way of actually getting students into the classroom. And so, yes, you don't need to be certified, but I highly recommend it. If you are going to go through a certification program, you want one that teaches you the business side of running an art school. How do I do the marketing? How do I attract students? What projects are the best to teach them, right? How do I teach them in a way where they do walk home with a finished painting and a smile on their face? And so what I did over a period of two or three years in teaching hundreds of classes, um, is develop a methodology around the, the key areas, right? It's one thing to know how to, to, you know, to do the painting yourself, but to be able to convey that to a student, the, the method of teaching is so important. Um, so I developed a way of doing that in a way that nearly all of my students walked out with a finished painting that they absolutely loved, even though they arrived thinking that they couldn't even paint, right? Um, so I developed a methodology for that, and I developed a methodology around how to actually set up a business you know, even if you're only looking to do part-time income, you still need to think like a business person because just getting certified won't put people into your class, right? It's really important. Um, just having a little certificate, a piece of paper, is not going to help you fill classes. So what I've done is developed a methodology around how do I market myself to attract students into our classes. And that's something I'm happy to teach you as well. If you're interested in finding out more about that, click on the link below. It takes you to an information page, pop your email in, and I'll give you a whole lot of information about how we go about that here at Moore Art School. So the answer to the question is, do you need to be certified? No, but do I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, and I think any certification is better than none, but if you're going to get certified, you want to not only get certified in how to paint, but also how to build a business around it and generate an income from it. If that sounds like something you're looking for, click on the link below, and I'll see you over at that page there. Cheers for now.